And the battle over worshiping in person in Kentucky and how to do it amid COVID-19 is back front and center tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. The Kentucky Attorney General says the governor's actions stopping mass gatherings is unconstitutional. Andy Bashir never specifically targeted churches, but they did fall under his effort to stop crowds from getting together. The night team's Jesse Cohen is live with more on the new dispute. Jesse. Well, Doug, while 99% of Kentucky churches like this one here have followed the governor's orders, that didn't stop Attorney General Daniel Cameron from pushing Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir to remove his order that prevented in-person church services. Now, just a few hours later, the governor responded saying that his order never specifically targeted faith-based gatherings. It was Easter Sunday when Kentucky State Troopers wrote down license plate numbers of parishioners who had gathered inside of the Maryville Baptist Church in Bullitt County. It's a move that didn't sit well with Kentucky's Attorney General Daniel Cameron. Now he's threatening to sue Governor Andy Bashir if he doesn't allow churches to resume in-person services. And if he doesn't, <laughs> then we will be forced to file a lawsuit. In the midst of the COVID-19 crisis, Cameron has come out saying the governor violated the First Amendment by targeting religious groups. But Bashir says there has never been any bias and the order goes beyond faith based gatherings. Today he said that I had a specific order that, that bans church services. No, we ban all mass gatherings. No one is, is singled out at, at all there. Which is why he says he doesn't fear any legal force. We've had early rulings by a judge. Uh, indicating that they are likely to rule that uh, everything we have done is is legal. The AG is calling Bashir's executive order unconstitutional. Even in the midst of a pandemic, the Constitution must be given its proper meaning. And the governor says these regulations are only in place to stop the spread of the virus. I'm just trying to set rules that save people's lives. The governor has repeatedly cited the Hopkins County Church outbreak that led to 54 cases and six deaths. To prevent further instances, Bashir ordered state police to record those license plates and provide the information of people who went to mass gatherings to the health department. Maryville Baptist defied his order. While Cameron pushes Bashir, he also says he doesn't actually want church goers to gather just, just yet. To I'm not here today to advocate that churches resume in-person services immediately. Now, Cameron does believe that Kentucky leaders will trust their judgments with health experts, hoping that they will give them the guidance as to when it will be safe to open. Whereas Bashir says he's just been doing everything to keep people healthy, providing safe virtual and drive-in options. Reporting live in Germantown for the night team, I'm Jesse Cohen.